Hi, Metricoolers! My name is Alex and I am the U.S. Social Media Manager for Metricool and in today's video we are going to be talking all about reporting. I'm going to take you step by step on how to create a report in our analytics section as well as how to use those nice customization features we offer. Metrical reporting is a premium feature, but we do have a code try free so that you can try any of our metrical premium plans for free for 30 days. So make sure and take advantage of that. Okay, let's get on to reporting. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> So for today's video, we are going to start in the analytics section of Metricool, but we're actually going to go over to this left hand side and we're going to scroll all the way down to reports. You're going to want to click into reports for today's video. And I do just want to remind everyone that reporting is a premium feature, but reports are great whether you know you own your own business, you're a freelancer, you're an entrepreneur, you're a content creator, or if you're a social media manager for yourself or you have clients. Reports are a great way to track your analytics and see it in one nice location, really nicely built out, fully customized. So I'm going to kind of take you through exactly how to build a report in Metricool, see exactly how you can customize it, how you can automate it. We make it super simple. You can create these reports literally in minutes and you can even automate them. So let's begin. So now that you're in the reporting section, you're going to see up here the period. So this is going to be the time frame that you want and the language. So as you can see, you can pick multiple languages. We're going to stick to English and we are going to actually do the reporting period of March 1st to March 31st. And you'll see here that it compares it to the previous 31 days. Then from here, you're going to click pick a template. So if you already have a template in here, you can go ahead and pick from a pre-selected template that you've already saved. But for the purpose of today's video, we're gonna go ahead and click on new template and we're gonna build out a report. So we're gonna call this template test and you can go ahead and name it however you like. You'll see here that we're in section one. So this is going to be the pages and the sections that you prefer for your report. This can be anything from summary pages to platform specific pages. So I am not really going to take anything off, but I will give you some of the examples of things that you can include in the report. So for the summary, you can have a nice summary of your followers for all your connected platforms, impressions, interactions. Even if you have, if you're running campaigns, you can include that all as well. You can include your, you know, your web or blog stats and then platform specific. So if you were Let's say you had a client that was just Facebook and Instagram, you could just customize this to just show Facebook and Instagram metrics. Or if you had a bunch of connected platforms for them, you could include all of them as you please. So like I said, I'm not gonna toggle anything off, but it's as simple as that toggle, toggle on. It'll gray out if it's not on. And there are certain ones where a lot of data can be pulled and you can sort it by the feature that you prefer. So you could do likes, comments, um, impressions. You can go ahead and pick what's the most important to you. And then you can choose the maximum number of rows. So this will be the maximum amount of content that you wanna see. I'm gonna stick to 15 for these, but as you can see, we offer those customization for many of these specific pages, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok. These are all our personal connected platforms. So of course there are many, but as you can see, it just loads as you go down and you can, you know, pick and choose what you want. So once you're happy with that, you're done with pages and sections, you can go to background and logo. So this is where you can take that customization a further step. So you can add in your own logo, you can add in your business logo. Again, if you have clients because you're a freelancer, you can add in your client's logo so that it's fully customized to them and looks more professional. So of course we have our metrical logo imported in you can do your cover background. So you can click to select. You can click to select or drag your file here. So as we already have our colors imported, the body background, and you can even do the title. So we'll just do social media insights. And then this will be the preview. So as you can see, we have our colors. We have the, the side panes selected, social media insights as the title. And our logo here is nicely displayed. Then if we move over to colors and preview, this is where you can pick your colors. So for example, we already have ours pre-selected, but if you did want to change something, it's as easy as just clicking into the box and, you know, 
choosing the colors to your liking, to your client, to your own personal brand. You can use the slider, you can do the color codes, um, and then you just hit accept. And, you know, they'll be here. The preview will change depending on the colors that you use. And once you're happy with all of your sections, you can go back if you need to look at something again. Let's say you want to make your report longer or you want to make your report shorter or you decide that you want to upload something different into the cover or the body background. You can go ahead and toggle between these three as you please. Once you are happy with everything, then you just go ahead and click save and then that template saves for you. So as you can see right there, I have test as my template and that's going to save for you so that next time, if you simply just want to build a report really quickly with the same exact settings, you can use that template again. And if you, for example, have a long list of different templates like we do, you can even edit and remove those templates and you can even duplicate it. For example, if you want everything to be the same, but you want to maybe just remove one platform and you want to save that as a template, that would be an example of when you can do duplicate. Or if you want, you can also just create a brand new template and start from scratch. Then you'll see here we have generate PDF and generate PowerPoint and previous downloads. So this is going to be how you want your report exported. So we personally like to use PDF, but you do have that PowerPoint option and you even have the option of looking at your previous downloads. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate that PDF and you're going to see here that it says that the generating the reports may take a few minutes depending on the length. So you'll see right here that the status is in progress of that latest report. You'll see all the sections. So it is a bit of a longer report and the format, the period and the generation date. And you can see that many of your previous reports that you have downloaded are here and you can actually re-download those as you please. So I'm actually going to toggle out of this really quickly while that's downloading to just show you the automatic monthly report. And then we'll go back into that generate PDF so that you can see what that report looks like once it's fully generated. So this is if you, let's say you want this to be sent every month to your client or to your team, you can easily automate it. So you just toggle it on, you input the email that you want as well as the email text. So let's say, for example, I wanted to send this to myself every month, the metrics. So I would put my email and I would say this month's report, look at it when you can. Like it can literally say whatever you want in the email text. So I will put my email in here. And then the email text monthly report for you. Since this will just go to myself, it'll be a little more casual. But again, you can customize this however you'd like. So monthly report for you. Um, if you have multiple team members, you can input more emails and then you literally just hit save. You can also do send a test report now and that's going to send a test to the email that you have. And now that is saved every month. That'll go. Or if you don't want to do that automating, you can go ahead and just simply toggle it off. So there you go. Very simple, very easy. Automating it literally takes a minute and we highly recommend if you are already sending those monthly reports out may, may as well automate it and save you that extra time okay now that we gave our report a little bit of time to download we're going to go into those previous downloads and you can see right here that it is ready to go so i'm going to click on download it's going to open up a new pdf tab and you'll see a beautiful built report and this one is 107 pages imagine doing that manually it would take so long so as you can see, we're just going in, it's showing, you know, my ranking of posts. We also make it nice so that you can go to that exact post that if you want. So you can hit go and it's going to actually take you to that page where that report is. It's such a nice feature, especially for your clients or for your team. If they are wanting to refer to a specific post, maybe they want to repurpose that specific post. Multiple reasons that you would want to use that direct link. So as you can see, we can just keep going down again. Like I said, there are 107 pages, but it is so nicely built out and it took less than five minutes. Great, great way to save you time every single month instead of doing those manual calculations. As someone who has done the manual calculations for reporting, the metrical reports have really saved me so time as I am the social media manager. So just having it nicely laid out in such a simple way and being able to automate it really does save me time so that I can focus on other things throughout the week and the month. And that's a reporting feature. Like I said, it's very easy to use, very easy to learn. I hope that me taking you through how to set up a template is really helpful. 
and don't forget to test it out. If you aren't a premium user, don't forget to use the code try free below because then you can try out this reporting feature and I'm telling you, it's a game changer. And that's a wrap on our reporting feature. Can you tell we love our metrical reports? It's guaranteed to save you time. Don't forget to check out the description box for any handy links, the coupon code, as well as timestamps. If you have any additional questions about our reporting feature, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. And with that, I will see you in the next video. We'll be tackling metrical smart links. Bye. <laughs>